and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, NFL Week Dose, Week 2. Hope you all did great in your picks for Week 1. I hope you all did great in your fantasy league. I only lost by 80, so you know it's all good. Yeah, you heard me. Yeah, I lost by like 80. Um, it's like, it's 79 to be exact, it's 188 to 109. Um, so yeah, I got my ass fucking handed to me. Um, Tyree Kill. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. But anyway, you know what? It happens. That's life. You move on. We go on to week two. We'll see what happens, you know. So my picks for week one, I went 13-2-1. Fucking tie again. What the hell? Anyway, 13-2-1. Um, one loss against the spread, 8-8. Eight and, eight. and over under, 7-9. Which takes me for a week total of 28-19-1. 58.3%. My goal is 60 or more, 65-ish, hopefully, but you know what? I'll take it. Uh, we'll just move on from here. We'll make, we'll get stronger. Same with my fantasy team. We'll move on. We'll make some moves. We'll figure it out. So Thursday night, we have an NFC South matchup of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 0-1. They lost to San Fran 31-17 in Week 1. Versus the Carolina Panthers, who were also 0-1, who lost to the Rams 30-27. The battle of the winless teams. Do we maybe get a tie? Do either one of these teams get a win? Can either one of these teams win? Um, Carolina is favored by six and a half. They are at home. Typically Thursday nights are a good home team uh, win. So I'm giving Carolina the six and a half. I got them winning covering. You know what? I'm going to take over on the 50. I think both of these teams' defenses gave up 30 and 31 in the first game. So we think they should be able to score some points here. Next up, we have an AFC South matchup. The 0-1 Jacksonville Jaguars versus the 0-1 Tennessee uh, Houston Texans. Again, battle of the, un the winless teams. Do we have another tie? Um, J the Jaguars lost Kansas City 40 to 26. Damn, the Mahomes looked good in that game. Um, Sammy Watkins, I'm trying to pick him up on waivers. Wish me luck. Um, Tyree kills out, so we'll see what happens there. Houston lost to the Saints 30 to 28. Um, both of these teams will be battling for the AFC South. There's really no clear-cut, you know, boom, number one team in that division. Um, Houston is favored by nine at home. I kind of became a Jaguars fan this year because of Shaka Khan and his son Tony Khan, who own AEW All Elite Wrestling, which if you follow Robert Sports at all, you know I'm a huge wrestling fan, and I'm an AEW fan. I like the roster. So it's kind of... I don't really have a team because St. Louis has been had two teams stolen from us. So it's kind of kind of a Jaguars fan casual, but yeah, they didn't look great. So Nick Foles is out, so hmm, who knows what's going to happen there. But anyway, hey, maybe we lose for Tui. Maybe that's what we do for Jacksonville now. Um, or Trevor Lawrence. Either one. Yeah, well, either one will work. Uh, Houston's favorite by nine. I am going to take them to win. I think one of these teams will get a victory. Um, hopefully Deshaun Watson... Has a big game. Um, my starting quarterback for fantasy. Um, so I'm going to get Houston to win. I get them covering the nine. And I'm going to take over on the 43 and a half. Hopefully there's a lot of Deshaun Watson touchdowns. Next up we have the Los Angeles Chargers 1-0. Melvin who? Um, versus the 0-0-1-1 Detroit Lions. Alright, and uh, the Colts. Can't today. Chargers beat the Colts. I know. I forgot that game in my preview. I don't know how I did that. Um, I picked the uh, Chargers to win, and then I had the I lost on the over under and on the overall. Um, so it was what was it? I know we shouldn't go back weeks, but I'll go back and look at it. So I had picked uh, Chargers to win. Had him covering the six and a half, and then under on the 44. So, Colts won, the Chargers won by six. So, and it was, it was the over. So, you know what? Hey, it happens, it happens. Um, so, the Lions tied to Arizona 27 27 in OT. Um, Chargers are favored by two and a half. I got them winning, covering, and over on the 47 and a half. Uh, next up, we have the San Francisco Giant, Giants, San Francisco 49ers 1 0. I am not. I'm in preseason form here, guys. Uh, 49ers 1-0 versus the Cincinnati Bengals 0-1. Um, 
Um, 49ers beat the Bucks 31-17. Why the, why the Bengals lost to the Seahawks 21-21. Uh, Cincinnati is actually favored by one at home. You know, I, th I thought about this on, you know, when I was doing writing it all out here for me. I'm giving the one the same friend. I'm going with the Niners to get the Niners winning, covering, and over on the 44 and a half. Next up, we have a Super Bowl matchup rematch. We have Buffalo Bills 1-0 versus the 0-1 New York Giants. Um, Bills beat the Jets 17-16. A great win for them. A great divisional win for them. Why the Giants lost to the Cowboys 35-17, which was a bad division loss for them. <sighs> Eli did not play bad. I know everybody wants Donald Jones to start. But you know what? I think these two guys are going to be what Eli did when he came in. Kurt Warner started. Eli took over during the year. Kurt went on to Arizona and did his thing. Same thing is going to happen here. I think Eli will lose his starting job mid-season or so. He'll go on next year, just like Kurt did, just like Peyton did. Peyton left Indy, went to Denver. Kurt Warner left New York, went to Arizona. I can see Eli doing the same thing. Maybe to an Indy, maybe to a Denver, maybe a Miami, because that is a fucking dumpster fire. Somewhere, I think Eli's still, maybe, maybe Jacksonville. I think either before the trade deadline, Eli gets moved, or during the draft. Um, but I got the Bills winning. I'm going to pick the Bills. They're favored by two. I got them winning, covering, and taking under on the 43 and a half. Plus, how many people on the Giants team are going to give their all, knowing what's going on? Maybe they're like, you know what? Do we care? I mean, do we give the extra effort? Or we just go out there and do our job? If each person goes out and just does their job, not for the team, for, the, for themselves, they look okay, but the team doesn't. So maybe that's what they're doing. Who knows? Maybe Eli lost the locker room. All right, so I've got Bills winning, covering the two under on the 43 and a half. Next up, we have the NFC East. We have the Dallas Cowboys, 1-0 versus the 0-1 Washington Redskins. Redskins coming off that heartbreaking loss against the Eagles, 32-27. Cowboys beating the Giants, 35-17. Dallas favored by 4.5. I got them winning, covering, and over on the 46.5. Next up, we have the NFC North. We have the Minnesota Vikings, 1-0, versus the Green Bay Packers, 1-0. This game is going to have some ramifications on the division this year. Uh, Minnesota winning 28-12 versus the Falcons. Why the Packers lost our... Beat the Bears 10 to 3. Green Bay is favored by two and a half at home. <sighs> I'm taking Minnesota. I'm giving them the two and a half. They're going to cover an under on the 44 and a half. There you go, Gio. That one's for you, man. Uh, next up, we have the Arizona Cardinals 0 and 1 versus the Baltimore Ravens 1 and 0. Lamar Jackson, what? Holy shit. 59? Wow. I know Miami's a dumpster fire and all, but shit, try playing fantasy against that. Yeah, I got stung by a bee. Um, that's the name of the team that beat me. They stung me gay. <laughs> okay. Um, whew, bad, bad, bad. Yeah, that, that sucked. Um, Baltimore favored by 13 and a half. I got them winning covering. I'm taking over on the 46 and a half. Next up, we have a big AFC East matchup. We have the New England Patriots with Antonio Brown, 1-0, versus the Miami Dolphins, 0-1. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. This was should be an AFC Championship match preview, but they got their butt whooped. 30-33 by the Patriots. Miami got their butt whooped by the Ravens, 59-10. So we have a team that... Did the butt whooping versus the team that got whooped. Guess what? The Dolphins get whooped again. I got Patriots winning. Covering the 18 and a half and under on the 47 and a half. Next up, we have the Seattle Seahawks 1-0. Coming off a one-point victory over the Bengals. Versus then their uh, Steelers who lost, got their butt whooped, lost by 30. They are favored at home. I think they bounce back. They win. They cover the 3 and a half and take an under on the 46 and a half. Huge AFC South matchup. Indianapolis Colts, 0-1. Hey, guys, Indy. 
you might want to start trading for a quarterback. Just saying. Anyway, so versus the Tennessee Titans, 1-0. Titans beat the Browns 43-13, where the Colts lost to the Chargers. Um, you have a running game. We can we saw that. Do you have a passing game? I'm just, just wondering about that. Uh, Tennessee is favored by three. I get them winning, covering, and over on the 45. Next up, we have uh, the AFC West. We have a, another division game that's going to matter when it comes to the end of the season. We have the Battle of the Unbeatens, the 1-0 one, one oh, Kansas City Chiefs. 40 points. Pat Mahomes. Damn. Are they going to miss Tyreek Hill at all with Sammy Watkins playing like that? Who knows? Versus the Oakland Raiders. 1-0. Oh. <laughs> Why? Oh. Why are the Raiders so intriguing? I mean, you, you have Antonio Brown... Basically doing everything in his power to get cut, gets cut, celebrates getting cut, and then goes signs with New England. If he's a head case and a locker room cancer, why does Bill Belichick want him? I think there's more to it. I think there's there he wanted out of Oakland and he did everything in his power to be that cancer to get out. He can go Bill Belichick. Be a good little choir boy in New England and get a ring. And beat his former team, Pittsburgh, in doing it. Um, Chief, I got, they're going to favor by 7.5. I got them winning, covering, taking over on the 52. Hopefully that Watkins pickup goes through and he st stays the stud for a while. We have NFC, NFC uh, Championship Game Preview. New Orleans Saints 1-0 versus Los Angeles Rams 1-0. Both teams scoring 30 points. Saints gave up 28, whether well, Rams gave up 27. Rams are favored by three at home. Sure. Take the Rams one in at home, covering the three and over on the 54. Next up, again, two un win winless teams. The Chicago Bears, the Bears, 0-1 versus the 0-1 Broncos. Which one of these teams did we see the true measure of the team? Was it the Bears with no touchdowns? Mr. Krabisky, what, he had three interceptions, I believe? Or was it the Broncos only losing by eight to the Raiders? Chicago's favored by one and a half on the road. I'm giving them the one and a half as a winning covering and under on the 40 and a half. On Sunday Night Football, we have the 1-0 Philadelphia Eagles versus the 0-1. Atlanta Falcons, this could be, when we look back, when we come to the playoffs, when we look back, where did Falcons go wrong or right, or where did the Eagles go wrong or right? You could go back to week two, this game, one of these teams could lose this game and be out of the playoffs. Playoffs matter. It matters, people. Wins and losses matter. Um, Eagles, favored by one. I'm giving the one to Atlanta. I got the winning, covering, and under on the 51. Monday Night Football. Oh, I mean, is that just a preseason hangover for the Browns, or is that what we're going to see? The Browns are supposed to be good, I thought. Maybe? When you lose to Tennessee 43-13, you really can't call yourself good. The Jets only lost by one point, 17-16. <sighs> Who's losing for two week? The other one gets uh, Trevor Lawrence. Is that how this is going to work this year? But I'm taking the Browns. They are favored by two and a half. I'll get them winning, covering, and under on the 45 and a half. All right, that is week number two of the NFL football season. Make sure you check out week 14 of the um, CFL, it should be up on Robert Sports Show. Make sure you check out the uh, Week 3 in CAA. That should be up tomorrow, I believe. I'll have it up. Um, NASCAR, we got NASCAR um, Gander Outdoor Truck Series. Final round of the first round of the playoff. Final race of the first round of the playoffs. Eliminations happen after the race. We have the NASCAR Activity Series with one race left until the playoffs begin. And we have the start of the playoffs for the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. We have WWE uh, Clash of Champions this weekend. We have 
uh, AAA Wrestling out of Mexico, their New York show with Impact Wrestling. We have GCW and Josh Barnett, Bloodsport 2. So there's a lot of sports going on this weekend. Pro Wrestling, NASCAR, um, NFL, CFL, NCAA. Do as many things we can here on Robert Sports Show. But as always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. And don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader. Sports Show content.